All right, this is the today, most a friend of mine, Alex, you may see him in some of my other friends' videos, um, hooked me up with some drinks and a can, basically. The company is called Blue Marble, Ultra Premium Cocktails, and they make a whole range of pre-made cocktails that are in cans. Um, they have the Mojito, they have the Cosmo, the Screwdriver, Moscow Mule, Vodka Soda, a Greyhound, and a Bloody Mary. Now all those are really, really popular drinks, except for Coconut Island, which is something they must have just made up. And uh, I'm going to try them one by one and uh, see how they are. I'm thinking we're going to all in this video. I think this video I'm just going to do the mojito, just to uh, make this the first video, see how it goes. But to drink this mojito, I think we should go somewhere more fancy. That's right, got to go to Cuba. Mojitos were invented in Cuba. So I'm going to drink mine here at the Malecon, on the Malecon, or perhaps I'll drink it here at the Floridita, which I did teach a bartending class at about three and a half years ago. Um, it just says pour over ice. Now, a mojito is usually made with lime juice, sugar, mint, you muddle that up, and then you add uh, crust ice or regular ice, rum, top of a soda, stir it up a little bit, garnish it with a mint, lime, a lot of bartenders don't like making these drinks. You hear that a lot. It's not a really hard drink to make, and it's not really that time consuming. It's just that most bars don't have the mint or um, the supplies to make it. Um, it's hard to keep fresh mint behind the bar. It goes bad fast. So if you're not making a lot of them, there'll be no point to have mint at your bar. So if you go out and you want to order one of these things, try to judge where you're at. If you're at some you know, regular bar, like Old Lower Bar, don't order a mojito. If you're at a restaurant, you know, a fancy restaurant, you can see they have lemons and limes and fresh fruit. Yeah, they probably will have fresh mint and they'd be glad to make you a mojito. Or if you're on a you know, beach bar somewhere and they specialize in mojito, of course, order mojito there. But your regular day-to-day um, -to -day and regular bars, uh, don't order mojito because you're probably going to be disappointed with what you get, most likely. And uh, Or you might get something like this because it's the future. And again, this is a mojito in a can just to add ice. Now I'm sure it would be better if I had some mint and some lime to garnish it with, but that's kind of taking away the point. Uh, it doesn't need to be refrigerated, so it's refrigerated after opening. So I'm going to pull this over ice. It's 15% alcohol by volume, while you mix it with the ice, it gets down around 5%. So um, I think that makes it like a normal drink. But without further ado, let's give it a sip. It is carbonated, so that's mimicking the uh, soda water. I'll be interested when I try the Cosmo or the uh, screwdriver if it's carbonated or not, because it shouldn't be. Um, the Bloody Mary is the one I'm worried the most about, it not being very good, but let's give it a try. It smells good. It smells minty, which as it should. There's no artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, but um, I don't know. While it is minty, I don't know if it tastes natural. It's not bad. If you wanted to drink this next to the pool or at a beach and you didn't want to bring mint and soda and a bottle of rum with you, if you threw six to 10 to 12 of these in the cooler, and uh, had some ice, you could be sipping on mojitos at the beach anywhere you want. So, I'm not gonna lie, this isn't the, the best mojito I've ever had, but certainly not the worst. And uh, considering how easy that was, just pour it out of a can, yeah. That's actually pretty legit, I dig it. All right, so Blue Marble, number one, mojito. I give it two thumbs up. This is the way, Las Vegas.